downtown Woodstock, Georgia. Small towns, Georgia. Woodstock is a mixture of old and new. If I were to go a couple miles down the road, I could show you some multi-million dollar mansion suburbs. Right here in downtown, they've taken what looks like old mills or warehouses and converted them into uh, some type of apartments and then opened up a lot of little restaurants. There's a breakfast and lunch restaurant right there. There's a little restaurant right there, a little sandwich shop. There's a pure taqueria over there. Me and little Nora have been over there before. Uh, I just remember that it was very hot up on that balcony that day and the sun was coming right down in on my hungover ass. So other than that, food was good, margaritas were good. Okay, basically nothing. It was from 2012 not even old but I like their rose bushes here it looks like what is that elderberry juniper berry some kind of berries on that tree anyway burgers great shakes now, it's early morning and it's kind of cold out here there's nothing going on yet most of these places are not even open yet I got a nice little sitting area out here in front of this taco shack where we were sitting right there nice outdoor bar but you know in mid-july the sun's coming down at just the right angle it can be mighty brutal we'll just start over here and go down this way copper coin Beer, coffee, and wine. What a good combination. Bartender, give me a coffee and a glass of wine. Very nice looking little coffee shop there, though. Little apartments here. As you can see, with shops down below, some kind of sushi joint there, sushi lounge. Definitely a smell of good food in the air. So if it's like 8.30 in the morning, too early to be smelling onion rings and french fries but that's what it smells like here we have grocery wine and beer they definitely know the essentials if i was living in one of these little apartments here probably make use of that store right there Here's an old house that's been converted into a tavern. Century House Tavern. So there we go. Stout Brothers Woodstock Beer Market. Shin Yun. Little Nora wants to go see that. Me, I guess I'm 
not opposed to it. China before communism. Well, now I'm definitely not opposed to it. Sure hate me some communism. Tiny Bubbles Tea Bar. Smoothies. 100% real fruit boosted with superfoods. And of course, like everybody else, they sell coffee. Got some uh, interesting little edibles there as well. And this place is open already. Gift shop. Brenda's House of Flowers. Not exactly my cup of tea, but sure I'm liking this little outdoor uh, eating and drinking area over here. Yes, sir. Big fireplace here. I don't know what the story is behind that. I don't know if that was built recently or anciently. But this is nice. Nice place to come have a few. Look at that bar right there. See that, ladies? Yes, sir. That is just all right with me. Let's continue on. The bank of the Ozarks right there. We're nowhere near the Ozarks, but in case you're from the Ozarks and you find yourself here in downtown Woodstock, you know you got a friend you can rely on. This here is Mad Life Studios or Mad Life Bar and Grill. I'm sorry. Right here in little old downtown Woodstock. And they have music here every night. Rock bands, heavy metal bands, country bands, unfortunately hip hop as well. But a rather cool place to go to slug down some adult beverages and hear some music coming up right here you got your salt factory fine ales and good spirits it's not a bottle shop it is a drinking shop never been there never been to that uh, barbecue restaurant right there either Maybe I should consider that. Maybe I should indeed. Let's continue on, shall we? I do not know what real is. I'm assuming it's a bar. Looks like they've got a little menu. A uh, case right here. Or something. Yep. Horseradish mignonette. Cocktail sauce. Maine lobster tail. Blue crab risotto. Pan sauteed flounder, pan roasted trout, grilled mahi, blackened fish tacos. Sounding pretty good. So, another eating and drinking establishment. Obviously, still closed. But open at uh, 11 o'clock continue on shall we ladies a lot of these little clothing stores and stuff around here and I have checked on a couple of these places and they're expensive overpriced if you ask me dress shop of some kind vintage record albums the right stuff records and collectibles truck and tap food trucks 
craft beer. I like that idea. I like food trucks. I like craft beer. There aren't many kinds of beer I don't like though. Not big on those fruity beers. Not big on citricky, mango-y, berry flavored beers, but I do love beer. And there's another tap room of some kind. Public Woodstock. Fast, casual, food and drinks. And at this intersection, we've got some kind of it's not graffiti. Woodstock. Health Mart Pharmacy. Yes, sir. Continuing on, Blue Frog. I'm not sure what they sell there. Looks like some kind of uh, crafts and stuff, maybe of the voodoo variety. Pizza and salad, beer and wine, partners too. I know that guy that did my tattoos said that he was planning on opening up a pizza place over here downtown. I wonder if that's him. On demand sports bar. The Daily Draft. Sports and beer on demand. Sounds like a pretty fun place to hang out. Gourmet pretzels. Hair studio coming soon. Not sure what that is, but I do know what this is. This is Seven Arrows. It is a uh, privately owned little company here that sells American Indian arts and crafts. And like uh, a lot of the other stuff around here, it is in my opinion overpriced. I bought a choker in there for $175 that I felt like should have been more in the yeah, 65 to $75 range. But it was authentic, Paiute made. Another antique shop. And then this is one of the, the better known bars here in downtown Woodstock. The rooftop. Now hiring ladies. Now hiring. Rootstock. Continue on, shall we? If you can afford silver, now's the time to get it. I hear silver is going to eventually surpass gold. But what do I know? Let's just peer in the window of this antique shop, shall we?
You like looking in windows, right? I like looking in windows. Let's continue This on. is just a little back alleyway here, but hell, even in the alleys, they got bars down here in uh, Woodstock, Georgia. Actually, this is the just the back of that one that I was showing a minute ago, the Daily Draft. But they got a little outdoor area back here too. And there's that Partners Pizza. They got a little seating area out here. Huh. I'll be down. But this is pretty cool over here across the street. Reformation Brewery. I didn't even know that was there because I've never walked down this little alleyway. But uh, apparently a microbrewery with a little bar set up inside. So you could go in and enjoy some of their fine, fine drinkables. So there's that a little uh, grocery store, retail store of some kind right there that sells well, pretty much anything. Toilet paper, I see Bob's Red Milk, almond flour, uh, kombucha, juice. Did I mention toilet paper? Yeah, right there, see? So, at one time, long before this was remodeled, obviously, that used to be a train station or some sort of freight receiving station or something, because we're right here on the railroad tracks. And these tracks have been active working railroad tracks for many, 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 many years going back into the 1800s. When I see that that's been turned into a bar and restaurant, I see an outdoor TV right there, tables and benches and such. So, so we'll just mosey on through this way here. That is not the rail car I was talking about earlier. That is a caboose, but apparently it is in use for something. Moving sale clearance. I'll be down. That Ace Hardware has been there for decades, and apparently they are moving. Times is a changing. Freight, kitchen, and tap. They're using that for. But I hear the train is a coming, coming around the bend. And I ain't seen the sunshine in I don't know when. Let's see if that's loud enough for you. That loud enough for you? How about that? How about that? Is that pretty loud? Just goes to show I wasn't telling no tall tales when I said that that railroad track is a currently working track. So we'll just come around this area here and end up where we started off. See, we've got some uh, apartments back there. I didn't know that was there. I live in Woodstock, but I don't come over here to the downtown area very 
very much. I live oh good five or six miles from here. Some kind of a dress shop for girls there. They're hiring just like everybody else. Hell, everybody around here is begging for people. They're looking for a part-time sales associate. Brooklyn's, another dress shop. Or women's clothing store, not necessarily dresses. Clothing, jewelry. Again, more of the same. Clothes, dresses. Got a lot of women folk living around, yeah. Chocolates, fudge, ice cream. Now, I, I know a lot of places that sell ice cream. Chocolates is a little more rare, but fudge, I never see that. Dulce, artisan gelato, handcrafted Italian ice cream. Again, none of these places are really open yet except for the breakfast shops because it's early in the morning, it's cold out, and it's a Monday, okay? It's not a Saturday, it's not a Sunday. This is where we started off in front of this place. They got a help wanted sign just like everybody else. Right there, in case you're looking for a job and you want to work in a coffee and juice bar that sells beer and wine. There you go. That's going to do it for the day. I'm going to walk back by here by this canyon's place one more time. If I can take a little look, see, and try to see if I can get a firmer grasp of exactly what it is that they pedal. They got a little TV there, but too cold out here for anybody to be sitting out here this morning. Oh, they got a nice little place there. You see they sell croissants, breakfast bowls, burritos. Alrighty then. Pure Taqueria. Strongly recommend that place, but if it's super hot here in Georgia in July, you might want to sit inside if you go to that place. So that's going to do it. That's going to wrap it up. We're going to end it there. Head back over here to the warmth and the safety of my car. Back where in the hell is my car? Ah, here we go. That white memory right over there. With the blacked out windows. So the police can't see what I'm doing inside my car. Which is completely obeying the law at all times, of course. I don't even go anywhere and drink one beer anymore. If I have a beer, it is at home. But we are for sure gonna come check out Century House Tavern here very soon. I am curious about that. And plus it's a uh, an old house has been converted into a bar and the house looks like it was built i want to say early 1900s or before now, like everybody else they are hiring and with that there's mad life studio over there just to let you know where we're at with that, I'm going to bid your ass adieu. Appreciate you watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.